it's Jen from Winrose Fiber Studio. Today let's learn how to crochet a new stitch called the crosshatch. For today's sample I'm using Stylecraft Special DK and a 4mm crochet hook. To begin the crosshatch you'll need a multiple of 7 plus 4 with an additional 4 for your beginning chain. I'm using a multiple of 3 so my beginning chain will have 29 stitches. Here I am finishing up my beginning chain and I'll work row 1 into these back bumps. To begin row 1, you'll skip the first 3 chains. These will count as the first double crochet of this row and then you'll work 2 double crochets in the 4th chain from your hook. After this our repeating pattern starts for this row. You'll skip the next 3 stitches and then work a single crochet in the next stitch and chain 3. Following this you'll double crochet in each of the next 3 stitches. You'll repeat this pattern across until only 4 stitches remain. When you get to these last 4 stitches you'll skip 3 and single crochet in the last stitch. Let's have a quick look at row 1. It's such a cute little zigzag already. Here's our beginning chain 3 and 2 double crochets then we skip 3, work to single and chain 3 and then 3 more double crochets and then we repeated this all the way across to our last 4 stitches ending with that single crochet in the last stitch. Here we are on row 2. You'll chain 3 and turn your work. You'll begin by working 2 double crochets in that first single crochet. After this you'll skip the next 3 double crochets and you're going to be working in this chain 3. We've got 3 chains here and our next stitch is going to go into the next chain. You'll work a single crochet into that chain. I experimented a little bit with working in the back bumps versus a side bump and I really found the side bump to be easier to work into. After you make that single crochet, chain 3, and then you're going to double crochet into each of the next chains. Here's our first one, and then we've got one more double crochet into a chain right here. At first it might feel a little awkward working into the chains, and then after a little bit of time it starts to feel much more natural. And then our last double crochet goes into the next single crochet right here. So this is our repeating pattern for row 2. We're going to be skipping the next 3 double crochets, then working a single crochet 
in the next chain, you'll chain three, you'll double crochet in each of the next two chains, and then you'll double crochet in the next single crochet. You'll work this pattern all the way across until you get to the end where you'll skip the last two double crochets and you'll work a single crochet in the turning chain. Here we are at the end of the row and we're skipping those two double crochets and we're going to work a single crochet into the top of the turning chain and I'd like to recommend that you go under both loops of this turning chain, the front and the back loop. If you go under just one of the loops, here I'll take a moment and show you. So if you just go under one, it can leave sort of a little bit of a hole or a gap in your work on the side edge. But if you just take a little bit of extra time and you go through the front and back loop of the top of this turning chain, it just makes for a much more solid looking stitch. So here we have row two. Our fabric is already coming along. And the great news is you already know everything you need to know to continue on with this pattern. So to continue making the cross hatch, you'll just repeat row two over and over and over again. I'm going to go through row two one more time just so you can watch it being worked and then we'll finish off today's tutorial. Here's our fabric after completing the second row an additional time. So we've got three rows in all. And then I went away and added a few more rows just to make a larger sample size so you can really see the stitch. I think some color blocking would look so beautiful here. You could alternate colors or change colors every three to five rows and really accentuate that crosshatch shape. I'm going to go ahead and add this stitch to my stitch library and I hope you enjoy adding the crosshatch to yours as well. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, please hit like and subscribe. I post a new pattern every Tuesday and I often share stitches on Saturdays. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.